Going live, we're going live, 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 live. Checking, I think we're live on Twitch, and I think YouTube is uh, coming alive as well. Yeah. Good as you watching to the video on demand of the weekly SS Creed for Holla live stream. Do you hear that? It's the calm before the storm. Nothing is really going on in the game, but we of course know Dawn of Ragnarok. 35 hours of new content is coming soon. So, Red is kind of going to tie us over every week. Next week we do have the Lunar New Year pack for if you're into these item packs. It will at least be fun to try that out and test it on stream. But yeah, with the DLC coming, you would think that they might want to show some gameplay soon, right? If there's uh, something going on, uh, just to keep an eye on the channel. Uh, let's check out Reda. I want to make... Do want something new. Hello. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, I want to try something new. And actually predict some of the things that I think will be there. I think we will get one thing from the Jormungandr set. Um, I think... I hope we get the Sword of Eden. That's like one of those... Earlier weapons. I'm using the Isu Knight um, cloak here, of course. I think that was for sale last week. That that item pack, of course, had the Sword of Eden. So we hope we we get that. We did have the shield from that pack multiple times already. So that's what I'm kind of hoping. And I'm hyped to use my favorite mounts. But more on that a little later. So I think wolf item, uh, Yormun Gander set item. I, I don't think we will get the Sword of Eden, but. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, let's uh, check it out. What do you have today? I'm a so I think I, I, I saved his life. I, I, I detonated the harpoon that was impaling him. And now I have no stamina. Reda bested me. But yeah, that's a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad, uh, pretty bad store selection. I mean, the dragon is kind of cool. I don't think we had this dragon before. But apart from that, I do like the chest though. I can, I can rock the chest. I do think it looks cool, but... With Reda now kind of like having some surprises here and there throughout the week. Like last week, the my favorite mount, the uh, the lion. Uh, the disc lion. Um, I, w I would say this is not, not worth your open. None of it. None of it. So that makes the selection a... There is still a dragon, though, that we did not have before. So it's not, like, super bad. And I think this chest looks pretty cool. So I'm going to say a 5.5. I'm going to say 5.5. Look, this chest is awesome. It's shining. So, yeah, the chest is pretty cool to get. But apart from that. Apart from that. And I'm, by the way, rocking these uh, uh, shock weapons from, the, like, the, the worst predator bow in the game. We don't need it. I, I, want, my, I want my viper bow back. Thank you. And I'm not sure why I'm using that. I want to rock this. I want to have some fun with that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we, we do have the dragon. Uh, the dragon is kind of nice. Done with Reddit this week. Give it a 5. Aver's Blade, 5. I said 5.5. We're close. We're close. Get wrecked, Reda. Yeah, I, I'm going to get some uh, generally. We have to do this the official way. But yeah, it was also like too good to be true. Because he was like kind of giving us a ton of good stuff the last couple of weeks. At one point, he has to ruin his streak. Like, he, it, it's still red. Like, it, it's not like Sargon we're talking to here. And I, I have this like very, very good like memory of Sargon, but I think he was like. He, I wasn't. Nah, maybe not even worse, but. He also left much to be desired. I'm doing Michael. I, I'm, I'm doing well, Michael D. Good that everyone is joining, by the way. Hope you have a, a lovely week already. And uh, that apart from the red eye reset, everything is going fine. That you stay safe. And that you're healthy. Going back to the video. Yeah, Joyce. You, you, you said it. You said it. We don't need a weekly selection for that. We don't need it. 
Uh, dragon, draggy, draggy, draggy. What? We we hear. Uh, I think this is always the case, but I'm still like surprised by it. You hear this bird sound when you like select a dragon. Okay, we do have this. This is kind of different, but. Oh, this one doesn't even have a sound. But this has the... Yeah, it does, actually. That's kind of weird. That's really weird. Take care. Again, if you are, like, really into drakes, want to collect them, oh, what the heck is going on? I think my drake is stuck. What the heck? I'm having... Oh, oh there he is. Oh, whew. I think he was stuck under the roof there. Look, sure, it's still a cool skin, and... Like, last year, so the first year of the game, we never had a Drake skin. So that it now appears as Red is of course, nice. The new Dragon skin we get with the Dragon Knight pack is just the same as that... Uh, oh, what was the Hell's Dem No, not the Hell's Nation. It was the Knight of the Round Table Dragon, I think. So that's kind of weird, but yeah. It's still cool. Maybe you like Black Drakes over Blue and uh, Ones. But maybe someone says we already had this one. When does the dragon mount arrive? So the dragon mount... Uh, oh wow, why am I riding this way too regular horse? And why can it not die? Oh, oh. I was like, this is a, a horse. Uh, I don't know what, what's happening to it, but... Uh, Raise your hand, by the way, if you got the Disc Lion at Reda. We made a video on it on Assassin Raptor. It's my favorite mount. It's the most well-designed mount I think they ever did. Talked about it many times already. I mean, you can... You can, like, hide behind it and then still see if enemies are there. You can, like, still hide behind it and then still see the enemies. It's like a, a multifunctional mount. You can also use it as sort of a, uh, yeah... Sort of cover. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Flaming Shadow, as always. Uh, fluffy feet. When does the Mega Dragon Mount arrive? Uh, it was, I think, March 22nd, if I am not mistaken. So, yeah, let's get those contracts. Let's get the show on the road. Frank White, 32nd. Yeah. Ikaros, soon in. Yeah, I, I agree what with you that. Have? Ikaros, at least, for a bird, had, like, way more personality. Like, I, I was always like, before Valhalla was announced, I was always like, they, they have to get, they have to like, throw away the Berg mechanic. Because it was really cool in Origins, and it also has like, like, Bayek really loved this bird. Ikros, Odyssey, really loved their bird. And in Eivor, it feels more like, oh, we need to have this mechanic, so Eivor kind of likes birds as well, but there's no chemistry really. Uh, we're missing that, so... I was fine if Eivor did not have a bird, but I guess they, they wanted to have that same mechanic. They, of course, did change it a bit. In the previous games, you could, like, tag all the enemies, which is not the case anymore, but... Would have been cool if they, they, they tweaked it a bit, but I'm sure that in the next street, when that eventually happens, uh, we won't have a bird anymore. Otherwise, I will throw something. And that sounds kind of like that I have a problem, and maybe I should not have said that, but... You will likely never know if I did throw something or not. <laughs> Which armor set am I using? The Paladin armor. From uh, the Siege of Paris. That's my be favorite armor. It's the best armor. And it lets me kill people real quick. Oh. Why are is everyone green? Am I playing on easy? Oh my god. A knee kick with fire and they instantly die. I think I'm playing on easy or something. Let's uh, let's get the let, let's get the heck out of here. I think I'm I don't know what I did. When I'm not streaming, I, I'm playing on easy. Oh, I, I have like ran regular combat difficulty. I hate it that you can't like apply it when in combat. We have to load our previous save. Uh, yeah. It's a useless bird, yeah, for sure, and. Like, in Origins, it was like an event when we got skins. Like, the, the white Sunin skin was a Discovery Tour reward. If you did everything in the Discovery Tour, pretty wild. And... Yeah, I don't think we had bird skins in... 
in uh, in uh, Odyssey, right? So yeah, I, I am curious what the next step is. Because that, that was kind of like, we started Origins with mounts and the item packs. Then Odyssey, we had our ship, so we had naval content as well. Then for Hollow, we had the settlement items on top of that, next to the naval, the item packs, etc. And the bird skins were also new. So what is what is the the thing going to be next time? What 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 can they add? Although I do hope that with them. Oh. I by the way I haven't started my recording yet, so I'm gonna do it like this. And then I'm gonna do it like this. Oh! Yes! Spread out! Any, if you have any theories on what, what what else they might add. Although, like I said... They might, like, step away from the settlement stuff and naval stuff. Because, really, they are not adding them anymore. We're, we only see settlement decorations as, like, free content nowadays. Ha ha ha, everyone is burning. Okay, but we, we had nothing to do here. I was just like on a killing spree. So let's go to our objective. It's like super far away. Did, did anyone here play the Joseph DLC for Far Cry 6? Hey, Musamil, uh, not really. So I want to stream it tomorrow. Uh... Around the same time, I think an hour later than this stream. So, uh, come here. I thought we we liked each other. Disc lion, I thought we had we had something going here. Don't come here. <laughs> no. Okay, thank you. Oh wow, four thousand. It's like all the way here. Yeah, we can. Correct dragon skin is called skills. I never got the line, but it looks awesome. Yeah, it was for sale, I think, last week on Wednesday. Yep, Vampire said is nice. I, I love the look. But what what, what kind of my, my thing is, and I know I'm not really doing it always, but I mostly want to show gear or use items in videos and in streams that either were at Red Eye or can just be earned in the game. Um, and so that's why I'm super happy that the Disc Lion was at Red Eye. I think we have to like reprogram it or something because something weird is going on, but uh, I still like it. Because yeah, now I can use it without feeling, feeling kind of guilty about it. Without being like, hey, how did you get the mount? Yeah, yeah you only can buy it. Well, not the, not the case anymore. Although, like with Red uh, selling a lot of good items, I can totally see that people were like, damn, I, I did not have the opal to, to get it. Your news about Origin 60 FPS on console? Sadly not. But it's February already. They announced it at the end of um, 2021. But I, I think they, they might do it. I'm not sure if they want to do it before Dawn of Ragnarok. Because then maybe people will be like, Hey, I'm, I'm replaying Origins now anyways with the 60 FPS. I, I, I will get the DLC later. I, I think they want to focus everything as a screed on Dawn of Ragnarok. They are of course doing the um They are doing the Where where are these targets? They're, can they fly or something? Or am I blind? Oh I, I am close. I'm actually there. <laughs> I was standing on the Okay. What do you see soon? They are doing the Ezio collection on Switch, so th so that that is like something as a screed. But yeah, you can play Dawn of Ragnarok on Switch. So I think it will be after Dawn of Ragnarok, maybe a April or something. I think they're taking their time, and maybe they want to line it up with a potential crossover in Origins. That's still my hope. We of course saw at the end of the Odyssey crossover spoilers, but yeah, it has been out for a while now. You had time to finish it. But we of course saw. Yeah. 
that uh, Cassandra was in Egypt. She already had the hidden blade there, likely got it there. So uh, I, I want to play that story. Maybe they're saving it for Infinity, or maybe it's for like another crossover event with Origins or something. Either way, there are many reasons why they're waiting, or they just haven't figured it out yet. But yeah, I, I overall think right now they want to focus on Valhalla and Dawn of Ragnarok. I bet you've already played Dawn of Ragnarok. I wish. No, 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 I haven't played it. Yet. Although, if I already played it, I could not have said it. But then I would just ignore the question. So, yeah, you can take you can take my word for it. Thank you. Chris is helping out people. That's great. They might do 60 FPS after Dawn of Ragnarok. Hype wears off. Yeah, I'm with you, Hot Wolf Kiss. So that's why I'm saying April. Um, because why Ubisoft is, of course, also launching mostly their stuff before... Like... You, Ubisoft usually launches stuff at the end of the year or um, by the end of March because that is still in their current financial year and then in April, March or then April, May, June, July, August, um, September they n they never launch something. Like look at look at their release date. They never, never really launch something. So yeah, that's why we are of course also seeing a lot of things. So that's why I think April. So... They have to focus this financial year on uh, Valhalla and then uh, likely move on. Did I only get one? Did I think I have to pick them up again. So we're going to uh, Winchester get the, the get the kid there. When do you think the next Ubisoft forward is? Stillgate asks. Um, I would say E3. I, I don't think they have something. Unless, yeah, so like the proper Ubisoft Ford, I would say E3, so in June. Um, I mean, we don't even know if E3 will be a thing, but we do know that... I, I don't see these kids. I always have trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we don't even know if E3 will be a thing. But... Dude. I only completed the weekly. Where are my dailies? Oh. He only heard Reda talk about it. He never felt it himself. And look at him now. Still smiling. I think if I change my difficulty, I might see uh, I might see something. So yeah, I think they are going to save stuff for June, but they might do like a division or roller champions stream. Um, because those are like two free-to-play games they got coming. So for those free-to-play games, they want to have their own moment. So I think we might see like a, a presentation or stream for those games. If they if they are like close to getting it out. Nice Chris, you pay attention during my info videos. More people should do that now. Kidding. Is the new, newest Far Cry worth buying? Jonathan asks. Um... If you like the previous ones and don't mind a more similar game like that, I think you will actually kind of like it. And if you don't mind that the um, support is likely... I think I killed him. I think the kid is gone. I killed the kid. Wow. The kid is gone. Maybe he's like in London. Like, it seems really because yesterday the Joseph D C DLC released, which was planned for March. Which is wild, right? I think we never saw... Unless, like, of a game that I'm not really close paying attention to. But I don't think we ever saw for a big Ubisoft game that they brought the DLC forward by a month. Which is wild. Especially because the uh, Pagan DLC felt like a few weeks ago. I think I really killed the kid because there is another one here. Okay, we do have one contract. Better than nothing, I guess. Show me. Better than nothing. The Dice Master. Didn't have skills. Yeah, something to buy. Descartes, I would argue though. I don't know. Did I, by the way, miss uh, a donation or something? I think I did. Hey, Fifat. Sorry. Will you play the Far Cry DLC today? Love your streams. Appreciate your donation. I, I, I thought I missed something. But uh, I will be playing it tomorrow. 
So, same time, an hour later than this stream. We'll be playing the DLC tomorrow. So keep an eye on that. Thanks for your support. And Ronald says also, hey yo, Ronald, did you already play Joseph DLC? Hey, how was the man like Salmon? Yo, Yor, how was the reset? Missed it. Um, I gave it a 5.5. You got this dragon mount, which is kind of cool. Or mount. Uh, skin. We, we have a dragon mount coming as a helix item. But uh, that will be a while. Um, March 22nd. And you got this uh, chest from the Hell's Damnation set. Which I do like. But I do think, personally, if you're low on Opal... That both uh, that, that is worth saving. It's worth saving now because they're they're yeah. with Reda kind of surprising us these last week, few weeks. I totally think you should wait a bit. Chris with uh, the seven months Raptor member and the ten euro. That's insane, Chris. Thanks a lot for your support and uh, for also helping people uh, in the chat. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Top three AC games yeah. says What's Wolf. Is it bad that I only say the newer games? Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. I needed that. Yeah, my favorite is always Origins. Uh, I think for me, it's kind of weird to say because for me, half the fun of these games and actually all the games that I cover is making the videos, is covering it. So, that that's something I don't have with the older games. So yeah, that, that's kind of why where my why my bias is also at the newer games. Um, I totally think Valhalla is the weakest of the three, um, but Origins is my favorite. So take with it, yeah. So I would say Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla, and then May. I don't know I, I haven't just played the Ezio trilogy in a while, and Black Flag. I, I did play it recently again, but. I did like it. I'm, I'm just not a big pirate fan, but I, I can see why people did enjoy that game a lot. Um, but yeah. I think we got more wealth, and I think it's all here, so we're gonna get it. I think we got almost all the wealth then in the game. I would love Ghost Shima added more content this year. Assassin Carter, I, I don't know. I, I think they're gonna go into the dark now. The Iggy Island was already a big surprise. I think they go into the dark now. And then I said 2024 last uh, week on Twitter. I, I think that's like a the most like um, realistic time frame for the new game. And I think it would be way smarter for them to focus on a true sequel now instead of adding more game to Ghost, uh, more content to Ghost Shima. They already did that. It was fun. It was great. But I want to see what a true next gen Ghost of Tsushima looks like. And uh, personally. I can't wait for it, and I'm also hopefully I'm also hopeful that they might do like a oh, that they might do like a Ghost Shima Legends true game instead of it being just a mode for this time. Sorry, I did burn like a regular. Will AC f Ace will there be an AC before Infinity? And by the way, you hear my Skype. I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, I, I would be shocked if there wasn't an AC before, uh, before Infinity. But yeah, we, we, we have no clue. There are rumors about a new AC, but it's not substantial, I think, yet. So I'm keeping an eye out. When I know more, I will, I will let you know. But so far, I would argue that, uh, 2022 will be for Hall. I, I, I think if there's gonna be a deal, a new game, it's it's likely a free-to-play game. That, that's what I always say. But yeah, they will have meaningful content every year. So I, I think Infinity is like 2024 at the earliest as well. So imagine Ghost Shima 2 and Infinity in one year. That's gonna be crazy. Uh, I need these keys. We got one over here. And there should be another one. Maybe I already have one. Could there also be a fourth DLC after Dawn of Ragnarok? Yeah, I think so. But more on that in the future. 
Because they said expansions during E3, so it would kind of be weird if there wasn't a an, another DLC after Dawn of Ragnarok. But I think they want to focus on Dawn of Ragnarok now, especially because it's so expensive. To already say, hey, we expect you to pay $40 later on in the year. I don't think that's, of course, the right call. So, Okay, see, I got it. One more. Can we make it in time? Because in five minutes, don't leave if the stream is over. Because then Dennis will be uh, streaming Sifu, the brand new game launched today. Timon, you there? I think you, you might like that. Is there something new DLC coming for Origins? Stummy rocks? No, I, I, we have no clue. But we do know the 60 FPS is coming on PS5 and series consoles. Shadow Yara, do you think Valhalla is more abundant in content than Odyssey? Yeah, I, I think so. I, I, I think there, there are just too little puzzles in Valhalla to, to... And that's why I just haven't finished all the icons yet. Because... And that's why I like doing it now during stream while I have like something else going on. Because... It's so much like bar doors, push this, do this. I think I have to go back and get it there. We do have like a key there, but I, I'm not sure if that's like correct. One month until we get Dawn of Ragnarok DLC hype, Monster Assassin, Zuxio. As always, I appreciate your support. And yes, we're close. And uh, I can't say much, but uh, you might want to look, uh, look at the channel. Uh, just keep an eye on the channel for maybe some uh, Don Ragnarok stuff. When it, of course, is available. We will be the first to tell you here, so keep it locked. Ooh. There could be a year 3 with SS DLC. No, they already confirmed that uh, year 2 is it for Valhalla. And to be fair, I, 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 I want something new. I, I, I'm, like, I'm happy that we get like Dawn of Ragnarok, which seems like a... At least to, to change things up, which is totally needed. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm also like... Oh, damn. Did I did I break the wrong window? But I, it does seem that the key is, like, down. Can we, like... Hey. Hmm. Do we have to, like, move something? Oh no, will I make it in time? Will I make, oh yeah, we can move this. We're so close, Dennis, we're so close. I, I need the final wealth. Should Donna Ragnarok be the last DLC? Again, I, I think there's gonna be more. I think year two is gonna be pretty big. Uh, and I think it will be great, but uh, I'm also like curious what, what's next, what's after that. Can I get make it though? Do we have to save it for... Okay, that's like a, an artifact. Do I have to like... Go push it here? Ah, okay. I think... Uh, I think uh, the game beat me. There should be a pause after Dawn of Ragnarok, like a last year-ish. Oh, I, I, I see it already. Haha, <laughs> I was stupid. Yeah, Logan, nice. I wanted to save it for streams like this. And also, sometimes when they like change something. Yeah, we got it! Haha, <laughs> just in time. When they like change something in the patch notes, um, it's like good to still have these mysteries in the game. Oh, I'm always level up. Thanks everyone for watching. It's a bit of a shorter stream, but we're also like in the calm before the storm. Keep an eye on the channel. If there's new Dawn of Ragnarok stuff, I'll be the first to tell you here. And uh, yeah, yeah, should be fun. Now, don't leave. If you're on Twitch, sit back and enjoy. If you're on YouTube, you can just stay here. Uh, or, or no, actually don't stay here. Go to the uh, other stream, which is over here. 
Um, because Dennis will be live now. So I'm going down. I'm going offline. Appreciate everyone joining. Check uh, the the channel for awesome videos about Valhalla very soon, and uh, enjoy Dennis's stream. See you. Goodbye.